Let's talk about the hardest putt in golf. Several weeks ago, women's college golf tournament, a hole was so difficult with the putting that they ruled the hole unplayable. And we all have one of those hard putts on our golf courses. And for most of us, it's the side hill, downhill putt. In fact, one of you, our subscribers, asked, could I do a video on how to make these tough side hill, downhill putts? Most courses have one. The courses in the Las Vegas area where I live, most of the courses have three or four holes that could be set up that way with the right pin position on any given day. It's that putt that you've got to hit it above the hole and hope it goes back in and it's a big break and if you hit it too firm it goes six seven eight feet past the hole or my word even worse off the green and down the hill maybe into the lake that's possible we've all seen that happen we we have those kind of putts well they were going to give you my best tips on making more of those <laughs> All right, so here's an example of one of those. I've got a putt to this pin right here, and it's a big slope that way. Well, let's talk about three or four things. The first thing you gotta ask yourself, you're not likely to make very many of those. This is about 20, 24 feet, big slope downhill. So since I'm not likely to make very many of these, I need to ask myself the question, make a decision when I'm reading the green, where do I want to miss it? So to do that, I'm going to come down here below the hole, and where I want to miss it is somewhere in this range. I'm okay over about this far. It's fairly straight. Certainly in here, it's fairly straight. And if I miss it into here, it's pretty straight. It's got a little bit of break that way. So I want to miss in here. Well, then I ask myself, okay, from that ball, how do I get to here? So that's number one, figure out what you want to leave yourself for a putt that's in what I call the kill zone, that you're going to make that every time and you don't three or four putt this hole. All right, the second thing. Now, I know it's going to break a lot. So the second thing is I want to find a target line that gets me to the steepest point of the putt. So I come back here and I'm looking, all right, I think I've got a pretty good idea where I wanna start the putt, but one of the things I'm thinking in my mind is what would happen, like I think this is a pretty good spot, what would happen if I dropped a ball right here? Well, that one virtually stopped, but again, it didn't have any inertia. I dropped it almost straight down. That's a pretty good one. I didn't finish below the hole where I wanted to, but it didn't miss bad. So let's think, I'm gonna do it like I was putting. If I dropped the ball right in there, what would happen? It sure rolls a long way. So what would happen if I dropped the ball right here? Well, that's pretty good. That's in what I identified as my kill zone. So now I'm thinking, and I don't have a T or anything, but I got a coin. So I'm gonna drop a coin right here. You can't do that on the golf course, but for purposes of illustration. So now, but I'm hitting from over there, so I need to aim at this coin, but I can't go all the way there because it'll go too far and miss out to the, the left of the hole. So I wanna come back from my coin and allow for inertia and speed and be in here somewhere. That's my start line. The ball is never going to get here. The ball's gonna be down in here, rolling towards the hole. And that's all right, but I've just got like a target, or oh my God, don't start screaming, an aim point. So there's the flag, there's my starting line, and by the way, I'm putting up the hill on a starting line, and that's okay. I want the ball to get to that point where I identified, you know, if I drop it here, it's pretty good. I'm going to, from here, kind of drop it right there and let it do what it does. 
Huge important thing here is you make a stroke to your target. You're not trying to steer the ball or any of that. Always on any putt, it's you've got to make a stroke. Started at my aiming point and that's in the kill zone. I'm not going to miss that one coming back. So it's late in the afternoon. These greens weren't mowed today and so it's a little bit furry. A lot of times it would be way faster than this. A third thing that you can do that will help you a whole lot is when you set up over the ball on these, hit it out of the toe of the putter. The reason that you use the toe of your putter is it slows down the speed. No, it doesn't twist you offline or any of that. The ball doesn't stick on the putter face. It's gone once you stroke it, so you don't have to worry about that. But I'm going to make the same putt and hit it out of the toe this time and watch the difference. It, it really slows it down just enough to help. Started it on my target and boom. When you have one of these side hill, downhill, big breaking putts, pick a place where you want to miss it so that you'll two putt at worst. Then find a spot where you believe if you drop the ball in this spot, it would roll down the hill and into the hole and make that your start line. Finally, hit it out of the toe if you need to to slow it down a little bit. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and a share. And in the meantime, here's to you making more putts.